everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin. If you have not been here before, I am a 26 year old first time mama to this beautiful little girl here named Juniper. She is 10 weeks old now. Do you like it better sideways? Back up. On this channel, I make a lot of motherhood content, homemaking, vlogs of our lives here in sunny Florida. So if that is content you think you might be interested in seeing more of, definitely consider clicking the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now for this week's video, I really want to vlog. I kind of have an overall theme. I want to go through our clothes. I want to go through her clothes, my clothes. So she's outgrowing her zero to three month clothes, uh, but I need to go through her three to six months clothes that we have and see and assess what we might need to get more of because I think we have a lot of long sleeve onesies and we live in Florida so it is still super super hot outside. I might need to get some more short sleeve things going on and we need to go through her newborn clothes and really put those away which is really sad and then rotate in her three to six months. I need to wash all those clothes too. Oh, what? Cutie. Hi. So yeah, this week is all about clothes and I want to go into my closet also and I put a lot of my clothes from before I was pregnant into some like little storage Hi. cubes in our closet just to kind of declutter my options because <laughs> I couldn't fit into it. I didn't want to look at it. So I need to see that and see what we can donate and maybe see what we can sell on Poshmark. I have tried on some jeans that I wore prior to being pregnant. They do not fit. <laughs> so I do have a little extra meat on me that was not there before so I want to get some clothes and some pants maybe that are more pants pants than like sweatpants so they're nicer pants but I do want to get some that are elastic waist so that I can wear them once I or if I do go back to my pre-pregnancy size maybe we'll do some shopping for that also why is it so hot in your room baby bear it's so hot in here I also got a shipment from Hello Bello. I've heard really good things about their eco-friendly diapers. Up until now, we haven't had like one set diaper company we've been loving. Everything we've put her in has pretty much worked. From the hospital, they gave us a bunch of Pampers. Um, I also tried Emma, is it Emma and Finn or Abby and Finn? Oh gosh, I'll put the name of, of it on the screen. This other eco-friendly company really, really loved their diapers. Um, and then I was looking for a good deal and Hello Bello seemed to have the best like bundle deal. So we're gonna try out some of their diapers and they have the cutest like Halloween prints. So I wanna open up that box. What do you think baby bear? Do a diaper unboxing? That's fun. Bless you, bless you. Bless you. Quick update on her sleep situation. In our last vlog from Labor Day, I said that we had rounded a corner and she was doing two big long sleep um, stretches at night now. She's not doing that anymore. <laughs> I don't know if it's cause she's just going through a regression cause she was actually sleeping better when our Wonder Weeks app, which if you don't know, it tells you when your baby's going through these developmental leaps and everything. Uh, she seemed to be sleeping better during her leap. So maybe she was actually hitting that a little later than what the app said, but she has been just up all night. We're also in the process of trying to give her the tools to help herself fall back asleep. So, you know, not immediately just popping the pacifier back in, but you know, like putting a hand on her chest for a little while, seeing if she calms down that way. So the nights have just been very long. So I will keep you guys updated on sleep, but she's only 10 months old. And I know their like sleep cycles don't really change over until like the three, four month mark. So we'll see, we'll see. I'm not putting too much pressure on her, but <gasps> We're working on it, yeah? But anyways, she didn't get very much good sleep last night and then she napped on me today for like three and a half hours. So I'm like, ugh, I'm probably just like enforcing her whatever, need to sleep on people and she's sleeping more during the day, but I don't care, whatever. I'm giving us grace and we're figuring it out. <laughs> okay, so it might be kind of annoying, but I'm gonna let her just ring this bell because she loves it and it will keep her entertained for like an hour. So here is the Hello Bella box. I got all the fall prints, so. You excited, Junie? Yes. Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> Whatever, you just go at it, Junie. I will talk loudly. Okay, so she is a size two, so 10 to 16 pounds. At her last appointment, she was 12 pounds, 10 and a half ounces, and that was like a week or so ago. You can already see, look at this Halloween-y print. So cute, this fall one. And then candy corn, are you kidding me? 
These are fragrance and lotion free, plant derived core liner, clinically proven, hypoallergenic, premium protection for day and night. And I'll put up on the screen exactly how much it was and for how many diapers. It was pretty good. And they do this thing where you get like a free product um, or it also comes with four packs of wipes too. So they're 99% water. So really similar to like water wipes, which we've been getting off of the Amazon as well. So we really like these wipes. So the bundles come with seven packs and then the four wipes and then you get like a free product. So I got these little spray things of hand sanitizer. I'm gonna throw one of these in my diaper bag and one in my purse. So these will be really good. I also picked up some of their lotion. So it's plant-based made with aloe, oat, calendula. Is that how you say that? And green tea extract. So this is very fragrance free, dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, pH balanced, nourished, blah, 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 non-greasy, yada, yada, yada. So we got some of this because I did want to start doing a little bit of baby massage with her before bed. So I'm trying out Hello Bellows and I will let you guys know how we like those. And I will let you guys know how the diapers go near the end of the week as well. But right now I'm going to go into her dresser and start going through her clothes and rotating some of those out. And we're going to assess what we need to get for the three to six month mark. Okay, so here I have all of her newborn clothes. Honestly, she never wore a single sleeper. <laughs> it's just been so hot and she honestly runs kind of warm, it feels like. So she just lived in little onesies and honestly, we were always wearing her when she was sleeping a lot of times when she was a newborn. So it would just get too hot. So we never really had her in a sleeper. When she was first born, she did wear these sleepers though. These are awesome. They are from, the brand is called Bonsai her bonzi bonsai baby they have this like hook and loop closure so the pants and the top are connected and they sell just like shirts and pants too but i like that it was all connected and it was great for tummy time in the hospital and when we got home just open this up and you're doing tummy time so we had three of these and she lived in these when she was first born and then we just have a couple little outfits she wore this one a lot because it was really comfy um, but yeah, honestly, she mostly just lived in plain old onesies. This kimono style is amazing because you don't have to lift them over their head. So it's less jarring and way easier in my opinion. So highly, highly recommend. I will link these in the description. I just got them off Amazon and they're really nice quality, 100% cotton. Um, yeah, really enjoyed these. But it is time to put them away, sadly, until the next child. <laughs> right, Junie Bear? Do you have a nice quick little nap on mama? How are you liking that diaper? Okay, excuse my drool all over me. She sleeps best when she's being worn, but we're really trying to get her to go to sleep in her crib. Not her crib that's in here, but her sidecar crib that's attached to our bed. So I set her down in that. She's definitely still awake, but I'm just trying to give her the opportunity to fall asleep by herself. She's squirming like a little worm. The pacifier is honestly the best thing and the worst thing in the whole world because I think she's becoming like sleep dependent on it. So she'll like have the pacifier in her mouth and then she'll start to fall asleep. And if it falls out, she'll like freak out. So we're thinking about honestly getting rid of the pacifier like cold turkey. Uh, we might wait until she's like actually three months old we're not sure yet but that's something we're gonna have to decide because it is complicating sleep for us like it's helping her it helps her fall asleep like if someone holds the pacifier in her mouth but how realistic is that long term so i don't know 
<sighs> if any of you out there have like gotten rid of the pacifier and you're glad that you got rid of the pacifier, let me know and let me know how you did it. If you did it cold turkey or gradually or what. I really love your input on that because we're a little lost. Good morning. Did somebody sleep so good? You did so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so today is Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. I haven't put any makeup on or anything. I actually wasn't planning on filming today. I was planning on filming tomorrow, but I just have to pop on here and say that she is napping in her crib by herself. This has never happened before. She usually just gets really hyper and like hyper sucks on her pacifier. I think I put her down just at the right time. I did have to like rock her back and forth a little bit. I put her down awake, but drowsy, which I always thought like, you know how they always tell you to put your baby down drowsy, but awake to help teach them how to fall asleep on their own. Honestly, I was like, yeah, right. My baby's never gonna do that. Uh, I did have to hold the pacifier in her mouth, but she drifted off. Yeah, I just had to document this moment because I'm just amazed that she's sleeping by herself in her crib and I don't know what to do with myself. Um, I guess I'll make some lunch. Wowza. You got it? You got it? Oh my, oh yeah! Yes! <gasps> oh my goodness, yeah! Look at that other arm forward. Sorry, I'm just in a, my nursing bra because whenever I wear her, I just take my shirt off because it's easier. Little Juniper is in her, um, playing in her play gym right now. I don't know if she's like close to crawling, crawling, but she's making so much progress. It is incredible to see her on her stomach, pushing her chest up so far. And she's starting to like realize she can put her arms forward and I put her in front of the little crinkle part on her play mat and she tries to reach for it now. So it's just exciting. She's starting to notice like these are my hands and I can do things with them. So that's really cool. Today for the clothing situation, I need to fold and put away her clothes. I washed all of hers. The newborn clothes are officially stored. So we're gonna do that. And then tomorrow my dad's gonna come over and help me with her. I also got a couple things in the mail. So I ordered some more deodorant from Native. They were having a Labor Day sale. I got all the stuff on Labor Day. I love Native's deodorant ever since they came out with their uh, zero waste, like it comes in a little cardboard tube. So I've been trying out their different scents. This one eucalyptus and mint this smells kind of musky like it'd be good for a dude but it kind of smells Christmassy to me I really like this and then I also got coconut and vanilla oh yeah I like that a lot and then this last one is lilac and white tea I actually don't remember ordering this one because I don't really like flowery smelly things but this one's okay and then I got this little travel one eucalyptus and mint look at how tiny this is that's adorable so I'm gonna stick this in my my purse because ever since becoming a new mom I stink like I am just smelly and I was reading it's because your underarms become stinkier after you become a mom so like because for breastfeeding it's easier for the baby to like find where they're supposed to go so I just stink all the time now I also did some clothing shopping from a couple places during their Labor Day sale so from this one store called Quince or Quincy I don't know how to say it and also from Pact which great sustainable clothing brands but basically I wanted to get some stretchy pants to accommodate my new mama body because I just can't bring myself to pay a bunch of money for new like jeans but it is gonna start getting cold in the next few months even though we do live in Florida it does get a little chilly so I think I'm gonna thrift some jeans but I really want to get some stretchy pants that way if I do go down to you know my pre-pregnancy size waist wise I can still wear them and I'm not like you know limited to tight fitting pants so I think I am gonna do a dedicated haul and try on video for my postpartum bod uh you know clothing haul 
I'll give you guys a quick sneak peek though. Mostly because I'm excited and I want to see these. Tact is great because they always ship in paper mailers that you can recycle. The native deodorant was also shipped in a paper mailer, which I can appreciate. So I got a couple pairs of their lightweight hemp relaxed jogger pants and also their airplane cardigan. But I really wanted just a nice, lightweight, darker cardigan because I don't have one and I think that they're just so versatile. Oh yeah, this is nice. Ooh, I'm excited for this. Big old pockets. Oh, I'm already in love with this. And here's a sneak peek on the pants. So I'm excited to try these on. I'm all about the elastic waist now. Oh, these are cute. So I got these in this color and like a black. I don't know if I would pair this color with this, but hey, we're just getting comfy. John, when you first see someone done playing? Yeah. Hi. Okay, I just put the baby down for a nap. Ooh. So her first nap of the day, I put her down. I had to like hold the binky in her mouth until she fell asleep. So she slept in her crib by herself this morning for 30 minutes and then I wore her for her second nap and she napped for a good two hours because I mean she needs to get a good amount of sleep and as of right now she won't sleep for more than 30 minutes during the day in her crib by herself and I just put her down again in there. It looks like she's falling asleep and this is incredible like this is huge like oh god my back is just she's getting so big now and my lower back just can't handle it. I can't wear her for four naps during the day <laughs> it's just not possible for my back so fingers crossed that she will fall asleep while she's in there i want to show you guys really quick from quince or quincy this is another great sustainable clothing brand that i've not tried yet so we have some stretchy pants going on from them as well some nice button-up shirts some um, camp style shirts some stretchy linen shorts so stay tuned for that try on capsule wardrobe video okay she's officially asleep I feel like I'm just now starting to get the hang of this because honestly, I was starting to feel trapped having her strapped to my body almost uh, the whole day. So I really hope she starts napping in her crib more. Yeah, this is like monumental for me. And I really wanna try on all of these clothes, but I know I should put away her clothes first and focus on my wardrobe tomorrow. Once my dad gets here, it can help with the baby. Ugh. When her pacifier falls out, she tries so hard to put it back in, but she like doesn't have the motor control skills. So it is now Friday. This has taken me a lot longer just to even fold and put her clothes away than I thought it would this week. Everything just takes a long time when you have a baby. So my dad is actually over here. He's with her trying to get her to go to sleep and um, I'm finally gonna put away her clothes and then hopefully get into my closet, take out all my postpartum clothes, or not postpartum, my clothes pre-pregnancy and see what we can get rid of and things like that. So let's get to it. Also for her three to six month body, I got some more of these kimono style onesies. I just got these on Amazon. The brand is called Gooby Baby. And these are just so easy and they're honestly our go-to. I much prefer the kimono style where you don't have to slip it over their head. It just snaps in the front. And it seems like it's a lot of snaps, but when you're just putting it on in the morning and then you're not taking it off until, you know, at the end of the day or until they spit up on it or poop on it or whatever, it's really not a big deal like for diaper changes it's just like a normal onesie snap on the bottom so we love these especially as like a newborn it really stressed her out to have the onesie being pulled over her head and it's just easier in my opinion because her heads are so big and you're like mm, and then you're like pulling on their hair and then 
I just like these so much better. And she just looks so cute and classic in a white onesie. Okay, so it is actually Saturday now. Austin is home all day. Yesterday when my dad was over here, I really focused on just like cleaning the house. Dooney had such a great time with grandpa. Today, I'm really going to tackle my clothes. Pull everything out, see what will work for me with my postpartum body. See what I can donate, see what I can maybe try and sell on Poshmark or send to ThreadUp, which is an online thrift store if you don't know. And Poshmark is just where you can like sell your clothes and buy secondhand clothes. But today is game day. Little Junie Bear is in her game outfit. Hello. I'll show you when she's done eating, but she's in a little gator onesie. Austin's team for college football is UF. That's where he went to his undergrad, University of Florida. Fun fact, I actually went to Florida State University, which is a rival school. Yeah, it kind of hurts me to see my baby girl in my rival school's colors, but Austin's way more into football than me and I don't really care, so. <laughs> Go Knowles, right? You're a secret Seminole fan. Don't tell daddy. Skin our football team's not that great right now. When I was in school, it was pretty good. We actually won a national championship. So I prefer UF to win sometimes just because um, when Austin's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Little sleep update on this one. She's been sleeping better throughout the night. I feel like this whole week has just been like a whirlwind sleep-wise. If I can get her sleeping like 45 minutes in her crib, I feel like we could just do crib naps and just do maybe like five naps a day. But she's been sleeping better throughout the night. We're only waking up twice to eat, right? Around like one in the morning and then five. And I usually only change her at five in the morning. Um, so she's doing better. Last night was a little bit rough. You're waking up a little bit, right? Yeah. Hi. She's still pretty dependent on her pacifier, but we're slowly trying to like not just put that right back in her mouth. And sometimes she goes to sleep without it. Sometimes she needs it. So we are getting there slowly but surely, right? Like that ball? Ooh. Keeping her company, Cal? <laughs> Don't kick me. She's gonna kick. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Retreat. Junie's the boss, I told you. Sounds like I used to be the boss. <laughs> Finally got the Roomba going. This is our other pet. Playing with daddy's leg hair is one of Junie's favorite pastimes. Are you ready for game day, Junie? Game day, game day. Yay! Go Gators to the champions. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Do you guys keep scoring when you and daddy hold hands? Are you daddy's good luck charm? Always. Aww. She was daddy's good luck charm when she was a bell. Yeah. Alright, let's snuggle. Everything in this basket and that basket back there 
are either going to be sold on Poshmark or they are going to be donated. So a lot of clothes I am getting rid of. Okay, so I've just put up my first couple listings on Poshmark. This is actually the first time I've ever listed any of my clothes on Poshmark. I have used Vinted before, which if you don't know, Poshmark and Vinted are both apps. You can visit them on a computer also on their website and you can basically sell your clothes, buy used clothes from other people. A lot of it is lightly worn or new with tags on still. So it's just a great way to buy secondhand without even leaving your house. So I think I'm just gonna list a couple things every day so I don't get like, burnt out from it and just try and keep up with it. See if I make some money. I will let you guys know how that goes. Figure this would be a good way to make some extra cash because I feel like every three months we have to buy new clothes for baby girl. But I've been buying a lot of secondhand baby clothes off of Poshmark and Vinted as well. So it's cool to sell some of my clothes on there too. But all in all, I think I got a lot done this week. Went through baby girl's clothes, got all of her three to six month clothes out now. We've been putting her in three to six month onesies now and she will be three months next week. She's not even three months yet and they fit perfectly like they don't even look big on her which is sad she's a long baby and i'm just glad i finally got to go through my clothes and i feel like i can just like breathe a little easier knowing every single piece that i have in my closet and knowing that i love every single piece and i'm probably going to go through these again as these next couple weeks go on really assess what i actually wear and what i don't it just feels better to have less clutter in my closet and to know that i have pieces that i know can serve me during pregnancy postpartum and just like with my changing body because honestly Austin and I are probably gonna be pregnant again next year so just preparing my wardrobe for that something I would really love is like a linen wrap dress I've seen a couple on Etsy that I really like so I might invest in something like that and also I don't own like a little black dress I did but it doesn't fit me anymore I actually owned a couple but they're a little too like skimpy I don't know I want just like a nice elegant maybe like mid thigh or like just above the knee black dress so I'm on the hunt for a couple things that I want in my wardrobe but all in all I'm really happy with how this week went and I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here Austin is just on the couch with baby bear I wanted to update you guys on her sleep last night she actually slept for six hours straight in her crib which is the longest she has ever gone and it's just like baby steps and i feel like we've made so much progress this week with sleep i feel like every night she's doing better and better and it's just really exciting and i will definitely keep you guys updated with sleep and like i said i'm definitely going to be coming out with that capsule wardrobe video for you guys too so with that i am going to end the vlog here and i will see you guys in the next video bye say bye oh my gosh oh god oh I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last